my brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Today the Holy Mother Church celebrates the memorial of Saint Bernard. He was the abbot, doctor of the church. As we all know about his history, Bernard was born in the year 1090, just over 900 years ago, and was 63 years of age when he died. At the age of 22, along with 31 companions, the character of the man comes through in his many writings. His treatise on the law of God has become a spiritual classic. Unlike the young man in the gospel reading today, Bernard responded fully to the Lord's call. That call takes different forms for all of us. We pray that we might be as generous in our response to the Lord's call as Bernard was. The beautiful first reading today, the book of Ruth, is sometimes chosen as the first reading at a wedding mass. The commitment that Ruth from hope makes to her Jewish mother-in-law, Naomi express a love that is faithful and reliable. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people shall be my people and your God, my God. As a couple stand on the threshold of marriage, they easily identify with these strong sentiments. Ruth's commitment to her mother-in-law is an example of human love at its best. In the Gospel reading today, we see a Pharisee puts a question to Jesus to disconcert him, which is the greatest commandment of the law. Uh, Jesus immediately sees no hesitation in replying that the greatest commandment in the law is the commandment to love. Indeed, Jesus asserts that not only the greatest, but the second greatest commandment is the commandment to love. God has the first and greatest claim on our love. Only God is to be loved with all our feelings, all our will, all our mind. Our whole self, God alone is worthy of his total love because God's love has brought us into existence and sustains us in existence. Yet Jesus is clear that such love of God, if it is genuine, will overflow into the love of our neighbor, the kind of love that Ruth shows Naomi. Jesus gave himself completely in love to God, and as a result, he gave himself fully in love to others. My brothers and sisters, as we gathered around this altar of the Lord, let us also you see how Jesus gave a greatest commandment both, love him and also love our neighbor. So not only loving him alone, we must also love our neighbor. So also in the society, only loving God is not enough. We need to love our own brothers and sisters, those who are near to you. That is the greatest he is asking today. Let us love one another as Jesus loved you and me. May God bless us. Amen.